How you doing guys? This will be another quick little car video and I'll probably be doing a video like on the whiteboard possibly tonight or tomorrow. What I want to talk about real quick is those that are saying you're saved but still telling others that in order to in order for you to say you believe somebody else is saved, you need to see them do certain things. Because I've heard many people, now of course, I don't know if they're saved or not, and to be honest, I don't think they are saved, but the YouTube videos that I've heard or people in my life where people say, oh, if you're saved, you'll be nice. If you're saved, you'll show kindness. If you're saved, uh, you'll always help a homeless person out. And what they're basically saying is, your works will be evidence that you're saved. And I want to tell you right now, this is sick. Because how you know you're saved is, you can answer the question yourself, did you believe the gospel? That's it. The works that you do after believing the gospel, you may choose, for example, to do no works for God and you're still saved. You might say, hey, I believe Christ died for my sins, was buried and rose again the third day. I, I trust that. Now, you know that you're created now. You were created by God as far as when you were saved, God made you a new creature. In turn, I'm not talking about the old man. I'm not talking about the flesh. I'm saying in, in within you, a new creature has been made. But you may still choose, and that new creature, the, the new you, he or she cannot, cannot sin. And obviously the flesh, the old man or old woman can sin, right? Just making sure I'm laying down that foundation for those that didn't know that. But after salvation, you are not forced to do good works or, hey, if you're saved, you will do good works. This is a lie. There's no verse that says you will do good works after you're saved. All saved members will do good works. No, that is not true at all. What you will do after you're saved is you will choose whether you want to do good works or not. Now, God created you unto good works. Once you were saved, he created you unto good works there. All right, God's like, all right, Brandon, I've saved you. Now you're created unto do good works. But I can choose to not do good works and I'm still saved. I find many people, even in the, again, the grace communities, rightly dividing, whatever you want to call them, they claim that, you know, just believe the gospel and you're saved. But then they will say, oh, if I see this guy cussing or he's watching um, explicit material or he's going to a strip club or any of these things, I don't think that guy is saved. So you're going to judge his salvation based off of his works. It's completely sick. It's completely heretical. Now, some people say, oh, so you, you're you just going to live like the devil or something like that. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, you were living like the devil before you were saved. And after salvation, you're still going to live like that in your flesh. Yes, you are. In your flesh. I'm not talking about the new, the new you, the new creature. Your flesh has not changed. Your flesh will still sin. That's it. Paul still sinned after he was saved. And some people say, oh, Paul overcame sin. Not in his flesh, he didn't. Paul did not overcome sin in his flesh. No, he did not. Paul struggled with sin in his flesh the same way we struggle with sin in our flesh. And there's a battle. There's a battle between him wanting to do the right thing, but he, he ends up still doing the wrong thing. And the things, the times he, 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 he doesn't want to do, he wants to do the right thing, but he finds himself unable to do it as far as pertaining to his flesh.
And there's a verse that I will have to put down in the comment section. Because right now I'm just paraphrasing. But I've heard this uh, last couple of days. Uh, had some people that um, that's what they tried to say on their YouTube videos. I didn't even say anything to them at this point. But this person will no longer be able to even access my channel after the things they they said. And they just want to harass me. So, But... The point is, you have heretical groups out there that think after you're saved, you must do good works. Like, as they, they think this, like, you, if you don't do good works, you were never saved. Like, it's sick. It, it's, it's nothing but a works-based salvation. That's all it is. No, you were saved the moment you believed the gospel. That's it. It's not your work. It's Christ's finished cross, finished cross work. He's the one that did the work. You believed on his finished cross work. That's all you did. You have an option. Oh, ooh, I know people hate this word, especially within modern day Christianity. But you have an option. You have a choice whether or not you want to do good works or not. If you choose to not do good works, what is going to happen to you? Nothing. No, no, you're going to go to hell. Where's the verse that says you're going to go to hell if you don't do good works? Now, a lot of people are, because they're mixed up on the judgment seat of Christ, there's different heretical things that have come out of that. Some people actually teach uh, if you don't do good works after salvation, somehow... Uh, God is going to renege or something and, and judge you for your sins. I've actually heard this. This is just sick. Christ cannot, God cannot judge us for our sins. He, he can't. He's already paid for our sins at the cross. Christ, literally, he's God. He paid for our sins there at the cross. But I've heard somebody teach that if you're saved and you purposely sin and you choose not to do works, God is going to go ahead and judge you for those sins. That was the most insane, sick thing I've probably heard in a while. I had to tell this person, no, God cannot judge us for our sins. He has already paid for our sins. It's it's done. He's not going to judge us for sins. He has already paid for. In fact, if you go to 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19, God is not imputing the world's sins today. But people are so against that. People say, no, he is imputing your sins. If you don't believe the gospel, again, there's no such verse in the Bible that even says that. There's nothing in the Bible that says God is still imputing sins right now in the dispensation of grace if you don't believe the gospel. There's, there's nothing that says that. People just making up crap as usual. But the point is, right now as a saved person, this video is more tailored toward people that are saved. You have the choice to do those good works or not. Now, what is going to happen is, Let's say you choose to not do good works. Well, at the judgment seat of Christ, your works are going to be what is judged. And anything that was that was not a good work will be burnt up. There will be loss at the judgment seat of Christ. There will be rewards given out for those that did the good works. And for those that did not do the good works, they will have loss. They will have their works that were not good works, not for God. They will be burnt up. 